My directive is to complete this mission with no injuries and no casualties. We have already lost six Marylanders. We will not lose any more. Governor Wes Moore says that concerns about lightning has forced crews to temporarily delay plans to lift a 350-ton piece of the bridge out of the water, but other work is still underway. This morning, crews were setting buoys in the rain to make sure vessels could navigate the waterways. This morning, engineers and salvage teams continued with wreckage assessments and site analysis to make sure that we have a clear understanding of the work site. He also says a second temporary shipping channel is now open for ships. We opened another channel today at around 1315 or 115, and it measures 14 foot depth. These channels will support traffic from small boats. This comes just one day after the first temporary shipping channel opened with a depth of 11 feet on the northeast side of the collapse. A third channel is still in the works. We're going to continue working and planning for a third alternate channel when we get those spans that are just north of the Deep Jap channel removed. But that's still going to take us some time to do that. The governor says the biggest economic impact at the port comes from the delivery of vehicles, and the vessels that carry them need a depth of more than 35 feet to come into port. With more wet weather possible and thunderstorms expected through tomorrow, right now it's still unclear when crews can be able to use those cranes again to try and pull out that next section of the bridge. Reporting live here at Sparrows Point, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.